your sephora bestie is back sorry i've been gone for way too damn long because of my hot girl summer but let's get into this video but in all seriousness i've missed you guys and i'm gonna make this haul so good that you have to save this video right now like right now let's start out strong we have this trio from sol de janeiro with the mist body wash and body cream and then i got their new fragrance in after hours i haven't even opened it yet but i'm so excited Charlotte Tilbury came out with two new minis with a lip liner and their lip collagen bath and they are stunning. This Touchland black paint sanitizer has me on a chokehold. It smells so good. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of the Sephora favorites kits so I'll make this in another video. And did you guys know that the Huda Beauty pink powder comes in a mini version? Like she's adorable. Then I got this little fragrance duo from Burberry. It's their new fragrance in Goddess. Um, it just smells so good. All right, go to part two. Here's my massive Sephora sale haul. What I got in the mail just came in, so I figured I would make a video to both share my excitement and my shame from how much money I spent. Okay, so I did end up going to Sephora in person first, and I already opened all this stuff because I'm impatient. So also ignore this. I think I spilled water on myself, but I'm not quite sure why. Anyways, I went in person and I already opened and tested a bunch of this stuff, but I want to show you guys anyways. Um, so I got the mini of the Say Glowy Super Gel Highlighter. Very happy about that. It's shade Star Glow. Um, oh, this I was super excited about. This is the Milk Makeup. It's their new setting spray. What is it called? I can't read. It's their Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. Travel size, and it actually, like, it sprays evenly compared to other travel sizes that I've tried, which is nice. Um, this, I got the Tower 28 Juice Balm. It's their tinted lip balm. I actually, I like it way more than I thought it would. It's a nice, like, pinky color. Um, oh, <clears throat> this I already actually made a video about. This is the Merit Shade Slick Gelay Tinted Lip Oil in shade Mapleton. I love this. I actually already made a video demoing it too because it's it's just so nice. I love the texture. I love the shade. I love everything about this. Um, next, this I'm super excited about. I got the Rare Beauty Power Boost Bronzer Stick. Oh, wait, no. It's their bronzer stick in shade Power Boost. So I have, yes, I have yet to try this out because I go to my Say one every day, but I am excited to test this out and see what I think. Um... Next up, I wanted to try out nude sticks because I have had them on my Sephora wish list for a while. Um, so I actually ended up picking up their Nudies Glow All Over Face Highlight in shade, what is it, Bubbly? I don't know if it's Bubbly BB or Bubbly Bebe. I can't tell. Whatever. Um, and then I got their blush stick in shade Cherie, which I'm actually wearing a little bit of right now. Um, it's more prominent on this side, I think. But I really like this shade. It's a really nice shade that I wear over my bronzer. This is the Makeup by Mario, the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in shade Bronze Glow. Um, I don't love the packaging of this one. It's kind of annoying because when I put it on my lips, it kind of like melts down. I, I don't know. But um, I do like the shade a lot and it looks like a really nice, like, it's like a gloss in a container. It's, I love it. Then I got the NARS Concealer in shade Affogato, which is late 1.25. Um, I'm testing this out. I don't really know how I feel about it so far, but I wanted to get it just to test it because I've seen so many good things about it. So I wanted to see if it actually lived up to the hype. Um, and then we've got the Refi Brow Gel, which I know a couple people told me not to get. They said they didn't like it. I have been trying it out and honestly, I really like it so far. Um, but yeah, this is just like a clear brow gel. I love, let me talk about the applicator for a second because that is like the best part. So they've got this wand right here. And then once you're done applying it with the wand, you take the, it's got more here. It's got a brush and then it's got like, this is actually like bristle brush. And then this is just like a comb for your brows. I don't know. I personally really like it. So that is just my opinion, but that is everything that I got in store. So moving on to what came in the mail. All right, so we've got some more from Refi. Oh, first off, I've got their gloss highlighter in shade Topaz. Um, very excited to try that out. I got two highlighters during the sale, so I'll have to try this one out too. Oh, wait, no. Oh my gosh. I bought three highlighters during the sale. This is really bad, actually. Um, and then there's the Lip Sculpt in shade Rosewood, um, which I'm also very excited about because I've been getting into lip liners. I'm actually like wearing a little bit right now down here and up to I don't know I, I like my lip liners now next we've got the Kosa's cloud set baked setting and smoothing powder I got it in shade breezy and I actually I don't have like a compact setting powder the only setting powder I have is a loose one and I don't love loose setting powder so I don't even know why I bought it 
Um, but yeah, this is compact, so I'm excited to try this out, um, especially for summer when I am a little bit more oily. Next up, we've got the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. This I'm pretty excited about. I have it in their lightest shade right now, but it doesn't fully match my skin tone, so I bumped the shade a little bit darker and went with the shade Cotton, um, which I know will match my skin better right now, and I could even use it as more of like a highlighting concealer for summer, so... We'll see how that goes. Next up, this is probably what I'm most excited about, honestly, is the Armani Eye Tint Silk. I've got it in shade Gold Ashes. Uh, this is just, it's like a, it's like a champagne-y color, but I wanted to get it for like fancy dinner nights, stuff like that, uh, because I wanted like a nice like champagne-ish color for my eyelids. So very happy about that. And it looks really nice. I can't wait to try it out. I finally invested in the value size of this because I go through, I've gone through five bottles of the SOS spray and I figured I might as well just invest in the value size because it's way more bang for my buck. Um, but yeah, this is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is the 16 ounce refill version. So very happy about this. That concludes my Sephora haul. Um, if you want to see demos of any of these products, let me know. Again, I already did do one of the Merit Lip Oil, which I'm in love with now um but yeah very excited but my bank account is crying so it's fine i just went to sephora so let's see what i got okay first thing we got is the summer fridays skin tint i got shade three i've been on the hunt for a skin tint that's a little more coverage than a tinted sunscreen which i wear every day so we're going to try this. I also have really acne prone skin and I've heard some bad things about some other products in the market. So we're going to try this. And then another skin tint that we got is this Tower 28 Sunny Days Skin Tint. I got the shade 20 Mulholland. Um, this also has SPF in it. So I will uh, wear SPF with the Summer Fridays. I didn't get the Summer Fridays SPF, but I'll wear my other one. But girls, you need to wear your SPF and I'm really excited to try this. Okay, next thing we got is this Lancome concealer. I have been on the hunt for concealers and I tried NARS and I really like that one. So I'm gonna keep with that one. Um, Hourglass, I really didn't like. The shades just did not match my skin very well and it kind of creased. So I'm really excited to try this. I got the shade 260, so we'll see. Okay, next I got the LYS bronzing stick. I actually already got this in the shade Courage. I did it in my last unboxing video and I also tried it and it was just a little too dark. So I really liked it. It's like literally butter. So this time I got it in the color Harmony Medium, but I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to try it. Then I got this Sol de Janeiro um, deodorant. It's aluminum free and I really like the smell of this. So we'll see if it works. Stay tuned. I've also heard really good things about salt and stone. Um, so I want to try that, but we're going to try this. And then my last three items are just restocks. So the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. So these are the darker ones. Um, I did get the Goldie Drops and I absolutely love them, but I also am out of this one and you cannot go wrong. So when Sephora has this in stock, you got to run. So I got this and then this Sol de Janeiro perfume. I absolutely love this. It's like pistachio salted caramel. It's so good. And then my favorite dry shampoo of all time is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. It's insane. Yes, it does leave a white residue, but I absolutely love this. So that's all we got. I blacked out and somehow spent 430 bucks at Sephora. I have a problem, but let's see what I got. Did you hear that after the Super Bowl, Fenty Beauty's sales or searches increased by 133%? Yeah, I was part of that. This is actually a repurchase. This is the Fenty Beauty Lemon Lava heat gloss bomb so it's a little plumper i gave it to my mom and i mentioned it in a video and said i was gonna take it back because i don't think she used it well she actually called me and said you're not gonna take it back i do use it so go get another one so that's what i did and then because i was so inspired by the super bowl halftime show i got another one which is a new shade for me this is their hot cherry so i'm excited to test them out to see if they plump my lips and give me that lip filler effect next to our concealer brushes one is from rare beauty and one is from the sephora collection this is number 71 so i will be testing these out i don't know if this is new but this is the patrick ta sculpt contour brush wait till you guys see it i saw him use it i think on a tutorial he did of kensington this does not look like the perfect contour brush. Yeah, I thought so too, so I'm going to test it out. I've been on a big brush kick lately. I just feel like I want to try them out. And the next is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I asked you guys when I did the full face of Fenty if I should try it. And a lot of you guys said it actually is worth it and it's good. So I got it in the shade Island Ting. 
I didn't think. If you guys want to see first impressions of any of these, let me know. You know, I'll do that. Oh, this one was, my, this is my favorite. This one I'm most excited about. Okay, we have Huda Beauty. This is their Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. No, they sent me the wrong one. I ordered the shade Cupcake. I This is Cherry Blossom Cake. I have Cherry Blossom Cake. I wanted to try Cupcake. No! Personal problems. This is my baby Cherry Blossom Cake. Okay, well, that was bummer but then i also got the hourglass ambient soft glow foundation and so many of you guys have told me to review this because you know how much i love hourglass but also this was on so many people's favorite foundations of 2022 so i finally bit the bullet and got it i also got the hourglass translucent setting powder which is supposed to make you look like airbrush not many people talk about it but the ones that do this is like their ride or die so i'm excited to try it then i got the tar timeless smoothing primer this is supposed to be like everyone's holy grail i saw tati talking about it and apparently this is like the best smoothing primer so i kind of want to compare it to my cali ray one because i love that one and then i got the kosa's uh, vitamin infused skin enhancer i've seen so many look i've seen so many mixed reviews about this so i'm excited to test it out i bought these so long ago that i forgot that i even got these another rihanna inspired this is the liquid look liquid lip she wore during the super bowl halftime show and it looks sunny so i had to get then the nude sticks glamzilla collab that was a lot let me know what you guys want to see and i will test it out let's do a sephora haul i finally was able to redeem my sephora vib rouge like 100 dollars gift card or store credit or whatever thing and i had a gift card so i let myself indulge i usually only buy things when they're on sale or really that's the only way i buy things is if they're on sale but this time I didn't. I just let myself buy whatever I wanted. And it felt really good. So the first thing I got, this is um, something I've been wanting for a very, very long time. This is the Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit. Um, it's like their newer brow product. And also I bought all the things or a lot of the things that were on my wish list. And I didn't buy random things, which is also hard for me to do because I'll only buy things on sale. And then this is another thing I've been wanting for a very long time. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, and this is in the shade Brown Sugar. I cannot wait to have this in my possession. Another wish list thing, the Benefit Flora Tint. I love the OG Benetton, and this was just another shade that I thought was really pretty and I really wanted and has been on my list for months at this point. So, got that too. And this. I knew I would only buy this if I had a gift card, if I had the VIB Rouge thing, or if it like went on sale because this is a very pricey product, but I wanted it so bad. This is the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. She's so pretty. And then these two things were not on my wish list, but they were new on the market and I love these blushes. These are the new Patrick Ta blush shades. I got the shade She's Wanted and She's Flushed. Let's open her up. The shade She's Wanted. And this is the shade She's Flushed. And I'll show you them right next to each other too. So this one is She's Flushed and then this one is She's Wanted. I think this is probably one of the best Sephora hauls that I've ever done because I just let myself buy what I actually wanted and it felt great. I'm breaking generational curses by buying things at full price and not just on sale, but it is because I had a gift card. We're working slowly. This is going to be one of the best Sephora hauls and um, you're going to want everything I got. We're starting off strong with the new Charlotte Tilbury blush wands and these are matte. Like, are you kidding me? I love this shade. This is called Pink Pop. I can't wait to try these on. This blush from Lawless, like look at this beautiful pink. It's called Daisy Pink. Oh my gosh, I thought I bought two lip liners, but I ended up getting one lip liner and a brow pencil. Oh, anyways, the lip liner I got is in this shade right here. I think it's called Honey Rose. So the other one, I was supposed to get like a brownish color, but I grabbed the wrong product. Okay, moving on. Have you ever seen the day hairbrush? Because my friend Rebecca showed me and I'm in love. She is just so cute. It's in this like blush color and I just, I'm in love. Next is this K. Ali travel fragrance set. And when I saw these, I was like, I need them. They were $55 for three of them and they're actual sprays and not roller balls. So I'm excited for these. 
I'm pretty sure all Sephora's are sold out of the Debronzy drops. If you're looking for that, you might as well get their Drunk Elephant SPF tin. It's pretty much the same thing. From Sephora Collection, I got another one of the puffs because they're so soft and they've been sold out for a while, so I just restocked. And then their mini brush cleaner. Not gonna lie, I saw some girl try this on on TikTok. It is the Buxom Full Plump Lip Balm. And it made her lips look so good that I was like, I, I need it. This one is the Way Pomade. If you have baby hairs like me or just some frizz, um, this is a matte pomade. First of all, one size sent me some lip stuff and I had to grab the rest of the collection because they're just so good and the colors are so beautiful. This one is a restock. It's from Patrick Ta and it's an Oshi Single Best Brown Lip Liner. I know I have a lot of lip liners, but this one is just that one that everyone's like, what are you wearing? lastly necessaire i will always buy my body stuff from them lotion body wash i just love it and then i found the hand cream in store like what you know me i just had to buy it the sephora sale ends tomorrow and if i told you i still haven't bought anything from the sale would you believe me i can't believe it either let's go to sephora and then a vanilla sweet cream cold foam that's it I forgot to record like halfway through but it's pretty much a venti iced chai latte with two shots of espresso i didn't get any espresso right now vanilla cold foam light ice and oat milk thank you later the endorphins this thing gives me i swear to god we made it i have a 200 dollars sephora gift card my goal is to just use that let's see how good i do I did it. What is prettier than this bag? Come on. Let's do a haul. It didn't go as crazy as I thought, honestly. I uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys for your support. I'm sorry this angle is really weird. I'm like in my mom's car. Being in a position where companies send you products really makes me feel so grateful. But never more than when I walk into a Sephora and I'm like, oh, I've tried that. Oh, I got that. Oh my God, I'm going to be getting that. Like, it's the most humbling and grateful and beautiful feeling at the same time. So I feel like a lot of what I got is like what I already own and love, but like in a different shade. First up is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Blush Stick in the shade Earthy Pink. I mentioned this in my haul. And you guys said that this is a beautiful everyday shade and that's exactly what I needed. I already know I love the formula, but I just wanted a more wearable everyday color. Random, but I saw Kathleen Lights rave about Pat McGrath lip pencils. And you guys know Pat McGrath can do no wrong in my eyes. So I'm like, yeah. Apparently this is supposed to last you forever and forever sounds good to me. You guys were so divided on this Ilya mascara Some people loved it. Some people said it flaked like crazy. So I'm gonna let you know Finally got my hands on Believe from Rare Beauty. Probably the most asked question for Rare Beauty is can you swatch Believe? And I'm like, I don't have it. It's always out of stock, but I got it. Say do blush in the shade Poppy House Labs bronzer and I'm a freak because I got another Tower 28 lip jelly you guys. This one is in the shade Sesame. I love their formula I ordered Lawless Daisy Girl, two Danessa Myricks blushes, a day hair cream, pink sugar butter balm, and the red one. I think it's cherry. And there you have it. Let's unbox this Sephora goodie bag. Let's see what we have in here. Wow. Laurel Street Sunflower Pop. How cute is this? Let's smell this. Imagine a basket full of lemons, sunflowers. That's how it smells like. Lemon's cleansing balm. This palette is so big. It's from Tarte. The Man Eater palette. The packaging is so beautiful. Stunning colors, like proper pigmented. Gizu leave-in conditioner. Medic 8 Retinol 3. The night serum. Fenty Beauty Glass Balm. My second Fenty Lip Gloss. Let's try it on. Do we love it or do we love it? Polyglomatic Acid Serum from The Inculus. Healing Oil from Virtue. A hair mask from Color Wow. It smells really good too. Makeup Forever Hydrating Setting Mist. Shiseido Power Infusing Serum. A new brand I have not heard of. Danessa Myrick. It's a blurring balm powder. Interesting. Some Olaplex Dry Shampoo. Paula's Choice Moisturizer. A mini palette from Natasha Denona. An Amica Nourishing Mask. This is for hair. It's for hair. More hair products from Redken. Iconic London, their Prep Set and Glow Mist. A night cream from Murad. I really like this brand. Men's Perfume. Tarek is gonna be so happy. Skin
Skin Fix Triple Barrier Peptide Cream. I asked one of the Sephora ladies to tell me one of their best-selling Sephora products. She pointed straight to this mascara said it was the best one that they have. I can't wait to try this. NARS Power Matte Lipstick. It's red. It's red. Wow. Kate Somerville, Drunk Elephant as well, Sukari, a multi stick from Elia. You can put this on your lips, on your cheeks. A Sephora product, it's the Sephora Cream Lip Stain, number 13. Beautiful mauve color. A Sephora mask, a Sephora lip plumper, a mini Ren eye cream. Lastly, we have another perfume, the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. You know we have to smell it, right? Quite simple packaging literally smells like coconut mixed with a, a garden of like daffodils it smells so delicious i want to lick my hand that's everything that i got and let me know which brands are you excited to see at sephora stay tuned for a makeup look using all of these products you could only recommend five things from the sephora sale what would they be i'm going to tell you and show you exactly what they are first up is the house labs foundation now it obviously depends on what kind of foundation you're looking for if you want something that's really thin and lightweight light coverage then this is not it but if you're looking for something with medium to full coverage looks beautiful in photos complements mature skin has skincare ingredients in it which means it's treating your skin and perfecting the way your skin looks at the same time non-comedogenic non-acnegenic and it looks beautiful under powders all those sound like what you're looking for definitely pick this up foundations tend to be pricier so the sephora sale is really the best time to pick them up setting powders are definitely something i cannot live without i go through stages of like which one i reach for right now it's huda beauty this is in the shade cherry blossom now if you have more mature skin if you don't really like to drive under eyes i will recommend the hourglass ambient lighting powders they do, this palette's not available anymore but these ones do come separately these powders are honestly second to none they will set your under eyes in your t-zone without making it look too matte like a pressed or loose setting powder would i'm going to show you guys huda beauty on this side and i look at my forehead i'll do like half my forehead so like before and after and then i'm going to do hourglass on this side i usually like to use it with the brush i was going to buy the individual pan but then somebody's like wait don't you have the elephant palette which has it anyway and I'm like, you're right, I don't need a... So this is with a loose setting powder. It definitely makes you look more matte. I just added it in my T-zone area, so not right here. And this is with the ambient lighting palette. It's definitely controlling shine, but you still have that glow. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I talk about these way too much, but I would definitely recommend the House Labs blushes if you're looking for a good blush. I was gonna say Patrick Ta, but to be fair, they're already really reasonably priced. Like you're getting two, a cream and a powder for 36 bucks. During this for sale, I would definitely pick up something that's more pricey, but still worth it. And these blushes, these are the best powder blushes you will ever try. If you follow me, you know. I'm wearing Dragon Fruit Days right now. Who would I be if I didn't mention my favorite eyeshadow palette? I love this so much. I even use this shade right here to fill in like any gaps I had on my hairline. I wholeheartedly believe everybody needs this palette in their life. You can use it for a light everyday look or a full glam beat. Last but not least, the lip liner you guys see me using every single day. I use it so much. This is not even the cap that belongs to it. This is an eyeliner pencil cap, but I am not letting this dry out, okay? Forever One that is my baby. She's my comfort zone. Makeup Forever formulas are so pigmented, so creamy. They glide on. And there you have it. I truly believe you can't go wrong with any of these. Another $1,000 haul because my first one wasn't enough. So first, a classic, the Morphe setting spray. I love this for my kit, and I love this when I apply powders. I just spray it everywhere, and I feel like it takes away that like powdery finish. Then my absolute favorite foundations, which I'm restocking for my kit. Well, actually not restocking. I'm trying to make these the only foundations in my kit. Right now, I use the Dior Face and Body, but I really love these. It's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I got the shades Barcelona, Santa Fe, Aruba, and Fiji. And then I got the Patrick Ta um, Major Sculpt in She's Bronze. I see him use this on everyone. How the fuck do you open? Oh, I'm so excited. It's so nice. Yay. Then I got the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I'm so excited about this. It was sold out online, so I had to go get it in store. And I just saw Patrick uh, Starr film a video where he puts this on, dips in the pool, comes out, and his makeup didn't move. So I was sold. And then I got the House of Labs blush in Pomelo Peach because I needed um, like a peachy blush. It's so nice. This is my first House of Labs product, so I'm so excited. Then I got five shades of the Shape Tape by Tarte. This is my favorite concealer ever, so I love to have them in my kit. 
Then I got one of my favorite moisturizers ever. It's literally the dupe of the Tatcha Water Cream. This is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Moisturizer. It's so good. I love it. Then, as I said in my previous video, I have scalp issues, major scalp issues. So I got the Briogeo Scalp Revival Dandruff Relief Shampoo with charcoal and BHA with salicylic acid. Anyways, I hope this works. Then, also for my scalp from Briageo 2, I got the Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. And then, also from Briageo for my scalp, it's the Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Tea Tree Cooling Hydration, Hydration Scalp Mask. Let me know if anyone has tried these. Then, I got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid because mine ran out. They only had the small size, so I'm kind of sad, but it's fine. Then, I got this little Sephora cleansing brush to wash my face at night with because I hate using my hands. Kind of gross, but... Then I got this little sharpener from Sephora, and that's it. Come back for part three, four, whatever it is. I went to Sephora, and I spent $332. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So first off, um, Glow Recipe has been all over my For You page, so I had to give it a shot. Um, I got the Watermelon Glow Moisturizer, the mini version. I'm very picky with my moisturizer, so that's why I got the smaller one. Um, I got this glow recipe. Um, it's the a toner. Love a good toner. And can we talk about the packaging? You guys, obsessed. And then I also got the dew drops. Look at how pretty this is. Like, you don't have to even be good. You sold me on the packaging. I got the Brazilian Crush 68. Um, I smelled this and I fell in love instantly. It smells so good. It smells like florally and just perfect. And then also, I've been wanting to try the Glossier, um, the Skin Tint. I'm excited. I've heard nothing but good things, so I can't wait to try this out. Patrick Ta! Um, okay, so this is the contour in She Sculpted. Once again, nothing but good things. I'm excited to try it. I've been looking for a really good, like, contour, so hopefully that works well. Um, the Lip Sleeping Mask for these crusty-ass lips. And honestly, I'm starting to think I just like the color pink way too much, and that's why everything's pink. But that's not the reason why I got all these products. This is my favorite mascara, and let me tell you, they were sold out of the big one, so I had to settle for the smaller one. But this, if you have not tried it, you need it in your life. Once again, been wanting this for so long. This is the Huda Beauty uh, baking powder in Cherry Blossom Cake. And it has a, like, pink undertone, but not too pink. That's what the lady told me, so hopefully it's good. I also got the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. Excited for that because I've been using the L'Oreal because they've been sold out everywhere. And then I think that's all that I got. Um, oh, one more thing. This, the Setting Spray from Milk. I've been looking for this. They've been sold out, so once again, I have to settle for the mini version. I'm so excited to try everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. Hey everyone, I woke up to part one of my Sephora Roussel going somewhat viral, so here's part two. And this one's really small, but still exciting because I finally got my hands on this smell. The Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato. I wanted the small one just in case I don't like it. I'm not gonna spend money on a big one. And then if I don't like it, I could give it to my mom, I could give it to whoever. So yeah. I'm giving you guys a first impression of this smell that everybody loves. actually really like it it smells very sweet i heard people say that they smell baby powder in it i definitely smell that it smells really good though kind of like cotton candy it smells good hey guys <laughs> so i just smelled this on her hand <laughs> insane i'm buying this live i'm going to put it in my basket let's <laughs> see <laughs> yeah that's okay. all i have to say I also have like the worst scalp issues in the world. I don't know what's wrong with my scalp. Could be uh, psoriasis, could be dry skin. I'm just still trying to figure it out. Need to go see a dermatologist, but whatever. Um, 
I got this Amika Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. Hopefully this helps my scalp because nothing has helped so far. So if anyone has recommendations, let me know. And then I got the Hourglass <coughs> oh <my God. coughs> Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Apparently it's really good. I've heard great things. Um, and I also heard it's amazing for mature skin and I wanted a powder for my more mature clients. And that's it. Part 3 coming soon. Huge, massive, gigantic Sephora haul. I got the most viral products that were nearly impossible to find in stores. Been saving up for months to multiple Sephora hauls. So this is sort of a part two to my last one. Everyone is so crazy about these rosy and bronzy drops. I am having the hardest time ever finding the bronzy drops. So I'm making sort of a series at this point. So you guys go in stores with me and find the bronzy drops. But in the meantime, I found the rosy drops. I'm just going to hold on to this until I buy myself the bronzy drops. So I can later on mix them together. How does everyone do this? Ah, look, I have the rosy drops. Next thing I actually cannot believe I got is the Say Super Glowy Gel. And you guys have been telling me about it in the comments. And you were saying that this is apparently like the bronzy drops for a drunk elephant i'm gonna be using this instead of the bronzy drops for now this was the last one they had on stock and people were racing to get it i think it works pretty good like it looks like the bronzy drops and this is in the shade sun glow i'm gonna have to do this faster because this is a really big haul and you guys know that it's all my life savings next thing i got is this huda beauty famous powder which also went viral this was not cheap it was like 40 dollars but look at this I finally have it in my hands. This is in the shade Pound Cake. And I also saw the pink ones. People have been getting the pink ones. But I'm just, I don't, I'm not sure how that's going to work. So for now, I have this. Whoa, it smells so good. I think they should match my skin color pretty well. Then this viral Jisoo lip oil. Supposedly, it tastes like honey. And it was like $30 for a lip oil, which I get. But it better be worth the hype. Like... Does it at least smell like honey? Okay, yeah, at least it smells like honey a little. This shape is so aesthetic though. One of the more expensive purchases was this Kosa spray. And I don't know what's up with this, but this is most also the last one in stock. So this is once again, a really lucky haul. It's like firming, lifting, soothing. It's all in one. So this is how it looks like. This wouldn't be a Sephora haul if I didn't get myself something from Rare Beauty. And this is the positive light um liquid highlighter it's in the shade mesmerize i wonder how pink it would look like on my face honestly it looks i think it looks pretty nice so gonna add this to my rare beauty collection running out of time so next they actually gave me this glow recipe free mini package and that's that was really generous this is the watermelon pore tight toner and this is the drops these are their best-selling products so i get why i had to buy this refi brush because everyone applying blush or something they're like oh i'm using my refi blush brush you know why not me since i was saving up why not get it it's a dual ended brush and it looks pretty nice you guys know it's going to be my get ready with me's yeah so i'm sort of preparing for my get ready with me's and this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I was actually out of mine, so this is like a restock. I actually love how the Ordinary is super affordable and it actually works. Just love this brand. I got something from Patrick Ta and it's the brow gel because uh, my brows have been looking all over the place and I just needed a brow gel, so this was the highest rated brow gel. I'm increasing my haul speed this is the tower 28 lip glosses wait i think i got one in the wrong shade i just hate when i mess something up but it's okay it's a cute shade too first of all this is uh in the shade almond which i love it very neutral and this is sesame which is a darker pink color and i got a new lash curler it's just plain gray looking good like less than two minutes left this is a beauty blender because my beauty blender is really it's it's kind of dead now so i'm just got a plain beauty blender another spray i got is the tower 28 rescue spray serum or is it a spray i think i got the wrong thing i still need a serum though 
then I've been trying to find my perfect concealer and I just can't find it. So I'm trying out this Kosas one, the shade All 60 Medium Tan. I hope it's not too dark though. I think it should work just fine. And of course, the Fenty Beauty Heat Lip Gloss. This is my second one from Fenty Beauty and this is in the shade Fussy Heat. Still on the hunt for the bronzy drops and I'll keep you guys updated.